Hey, good evening everyone. This is another session on palmistry and in this video I will be discussing about some of the uh, learnings that I got, uh, you know, while I was doing a small research on the job lines and, uh, you know, this was a sample research on around 25 people and whatever the learnings were, I will be trying to present that uh, in this video. And obviously with times to come, I'll be doing more researches, I'll be more, you know, analyzing more data. That way we can become more and more sure of, uh, you know, the different patterns and use that as a guiding principle. Uh, of course, we are long way away from that and would require your support. So feel free to ping me on WhatsApp, share your palm images, you know, especially if with respect to job, if you're facing certain issues, it would really help me a lot to understand those patterns and can guide you through those patterns through the you know uh, whatever research i have been doing i can guide you towards what might be the better way or why, what might be the course corrections right uh, with that being said i also hope that you are keeping safe uh, you know with the covid cases rising uh, please keep safe keep uh, keep yourself healthy uh, try to you know uh, take as much measures as possible uh, so yeah with all that being said let's get started uh, with some of the findings and i'll go one by one uh, so that the findings are absolutely clear and uh, we try to use or incorporate all these findings uh, whenever we are trying to do a palm reading uh, right obviously it's these are not absolute patterns because they haven't been tested into 10,000 or 1 lakh sort of a sample size. But then, in my opinion, they are fairly accurate, right? So, uh, let's get started. Now, first and foremost pattern was at times, so the job lines. First of all, what are these job lines? The job lines are the lines uh, which are cutting across in this particular fashion. You can see these lines, right? Uh, cutting across, these are the job lines. At times, what you will see, see is that these lines will be moving in particular direction. Okay. So, for example, they can be moving towards, this is called as the Mount of Jupiter. This is called as the Mount of Saturn. This is called as the Mount of Apollo. And this is called as the Mount of Mercury. So, these lines will be moving in, you know, different, different directions. Uh, you know, for instance, the one in... The first pattern that I'm showing, you can clearly see the line. If I extrapolate it, it will go somewhere towards this, the forefinger or the Jupiter mount. But we, what we also see is that the line sort of begins to fade away, like as you can see. And then a new pattern is getting created in a different direction. Now, I'll tell you if you have such a marking, what it can mean. For example, the lines are very strong. Okay, and then they fade away while moving towards Jupiter and then they start turning towards Saturn and, and you see them becoming stronger. Now, what it means is that after a particular age, the pull towards Jupiter or, you know, the Jupiterian current is not strong enough to push the line there, which means there is some resistance with respect to Jupiter. Now, what all Jupiter represents? Now, Jupiter represents... Now, Jupiter basically is over here for people who are not able to figure it out. So, Jupiter is over here. Now, Jupiter represents, you know, managerial things. Jupiter indicates gurus. Jupiter indicates uh, higher managers, leaders and stuff like that. So, whenever you see a resistance coming in, whenever the line is moving towards Jupiter, it can indicate that probably you're not getting the right sort of support from your manager or higher authorities. Or it could also indicate that Jupiterian traits like ambition, drive, assertiveness is beginning to fade away from your drive towards the job. Okay. But what else we are seeing? We, we are seeing a pattern getting shifted towards Saturn, which means the learnings of Jupiter are getting over. And you have to now move towards a more Saturnian way of living, which means, for example, in this case, post 35, because the job line hits the headline around 35, post 35, the pattern is changing. And this will indicate that post the ages of 35 or so, the person should move into a Saturnian way. Saturn is a different type of a teacher. 
okay saturn teaches you through hardships saturn teaches you that you are alone you have to figure out things on your own so the support of the higher gurus or the managers will not be there you need to figure out things on your own you don't have to you know depend too much on others right so for example in this case the person has to gradually move in that sort of a mindset especially post 35 the person has to and saturn represents discipline hard work responsibility you know slow and steady wins the race these are the major or core principles of saturn so that is where post 35 or so the per, the person will get support from the higher authorities or whatever but will not get the that guidance that mentorship that guru sort of a a figure might not be there but the person has to change his attitude the person has to become more disciplined more hard working more persistent more stable and more consistent these are the principles of saturn okay so when whatever patterns you see for example in this case the line is going solid then it fades away as it approaches towards jupiter right and then post uh, 35 it goes towards uh, saturn so how it can be interpreted till roughly 30 the person can can have good gurus can have good uh, mentorship can have good people to guide uh, and all those sort of things can be there 30 to 35 there can be a transition okay the person might not get the same support because we can clearly see the pattern has dilated right and the currents are reducing which means the person can you know all the jupiterian traits will reduce which includes hope can reduce jupiter represents expansion so you might not be able to expand at the same rate jupiter represents you know, gurus and managers you might not get the same support as you were getting uh, jupiter also represents uh, managerial things so those sort of things might go away and gradually you will move towards more of a saturnian way of existence which means post 35 you will become more hard working more persistent more structured uh, you know it does not mean that you will not be managing people but you will be managing the people with respect to structure you'll be managing people with discipline you'll be managing people in a very stable way right we have to understand that jupiter is also a teacher saturn is also a teacher but the wavelength or the energy of jupiter and saturn are different and that is how we have to give the reading hopefully you got this point very very uh, easily and you're clear with that now let us take another example now in some of the cases what i've seen is the job line is going and then you see a dot like structure as i've drawn over here and then the line begins to fade away this again can indicate towards a sudden change in life okay or a sudden event might come by okay and because of which it might create a very strong effect in your mind or in your general drive towards the job and because of which the job line seems to be fading out so the dot represents an intense you know moment an extreme event you know suddenly something happened in your job and you're like oh okay what now and and that destabilizes you and that weakens your proposition uh, in your job so that is another important pattern that seems to be coming out out of this research apart from that the horizontal bars that are cutting across in the hand seems to be very very accurate okay so sometimes you will see for example uh, you can see uh, in this hand as well uh, for example if you see this line you see how many horizontal bars are cutting across now each of these horizontal bar is some or the other obstacle that the person will face for example if you look at this horizontal bar this horizontal bar is getting connected to the heart line and this will indicate that more or less some emotional uh, tricky situation can come by at or around the ages of 35 and that might intervene in the person's job see whenever the horizontal bars are going from mars towards the heart line or the marriage line which is over here this these horizontal bars are called marriage line and this line is called heart line so whenever from mars the lines are moving towards marriage or the heart line it can indicate the relationships are intervening in the job right and uh, similarly for example they can you have to also see other lines for example at or around the ages of 32 you see this line but at the age of 32 you also see that the headline is under pressure now headline represents what headline represents mother as well if we go to hindu uh, palmistry and this will, can indicate that mother also acted as an obstacle 
and created a negative environment for the person okay sometimes you have to observe other lines as well for example let's say uh, from the ages of 32 till 33 or 35 or so there are a lot of horizontal bars on the job line in general like this you can see a lot of these horizontal bars cutting across but you see that the headline is under a lot of pressure as well for example in this case you can clearly see the headline is under a lot of fuzz which can indicate that there was a lot of mental anxiety maybe depression or anxiety as well uh, that is uh, relating or that is causing some damage with respect to uh, the job sometimes at those timings you will see certain lines falling down from the lifeline that can indicate death of someone creating some obstacle the dropping lines can also sometimes indicate towards birth of a child and birth of child and taking care of children can be a very high responsibility as well and at times these horizontal bars can create obstacles created due to that so you have to see a holistic picture you cannot see a line just as it is you will have to see overall what's happening at that particular age to come at any conclusion now few other important points that i also learned uh, is that the over uh, overlapping lines are not considered very good or they will create some confusion for example let's say the job line is going uh, you know in this particular direction that is the pattern number one and i'll draw let's say there is another new line that uh, you know gets developed let's say something like that okay now you see between this line and this line there there is some segment that is overlapping okay or to give you a better picture let's draw this line from here okay so you can clearly see some part of both the lines is overlapping and whenever this overlap happens though the person will be able to survive in the job but it will give some sort of tension and anxiety to the person as well these overlapping lines though they are good but essentially the patterns are changing meaning the older pattern is stop stopping and a new pattern is getting developed which means change and changes are never easy and whenever you see such transformation the person will be fine you know the person will be able to do well but uh the, the person might face some sort of stress as well okay because these overlapping lines i saw in majority of the co uh, cases cause some uh, you know disease uh, not so easiness and some difficulty as well apart from that what i also saw in the hand is that you know uh, sometimes these lines that are cutting across you know especially from mars towards you know mercury or uh, towards this side of the hand we have to also correlate that there is a function of anger because mars is to do with anger and conflict and mercury is to do with nervousness uh, communication so this can come out as you know an aggressive communication might have caused some obstacle uh, in the job for example so you have to really see how this horizontal bar is cutting across if it's joining the heart line or if it's going towards the marriage line clearly really but if it's going towards mercury then probably mercury related conflicts can be there that can be communication nervousness or intellectual uh, conflict and stuff like that okay now few more observations that i also got always look into the patterns that are doing better for the person okay for example as i explained earlier uh, let's say this uh, pattern is going and then you can clearly see it's fading away and you see another better pattern coming in suggest the person to move in the direction of the better pattern now the better pattern is towards saturn whereas the earlier pattern was towards jupiter which clearly means if the person moves in a saturnian way of thinking it would be easier so guide the person for the smooth movement because you can clearly see if the person continues with the same method the lines are fading out obviously you have to only give an advice because lines also do change and if the person is persistent who knows more positive lines can come out in that in this direction itself so you have to look into the holistic picture you can only guide the other important aspects or patterns that i also uh, saw in the hand is that when the lines are starting from the center of the palm okay these people are moving into more technical fields okay they are more self driven okay so whenever the line is starting from the center of the power more self driven more technical fields and this can also indicate towards a very um, 
a lot of self importance is there and these sort of people do everything on their own because it's related to ketu which is into research and which is a very isolated planet whereas if it starts from moon these people are more into rapport building and compassion and human related fields hopefully you got few more patterns from this video